Hi. Welcome. I'm glad you could join me today to learn about the Structural Simulation Toolkit, or SST. Our session is broken into six separate videos. You can navigate freely from one to the other in any order. The first video introduces you to SST. The second video shows you how to get SST. The third reviews SST when used to generate Hello World. The fourth video walks you through a more complex example and simulates a generic car wash. The fifth video introduces you to the GUI, a tool used to increase productivity and create cleaner models. And the last video provides time for you to try. So, SST, Structural Simulation Toolkit. Why would I even need a simulator in the first place? Whether you're watching this on a tablet, a phone, or a PC, all of the parts inside of your device have been simulated individually. In fact, all of the parts have also been simulated together. Simulators are important because you can build it before you buy it, saving you time, money, and resources. But just what is SST? Well, first, SST is a framework. It provides the functionality to create and connect models to run as a simulation. Many simulations end up being rather complex, and SST is designed to take advantage of multiple processors, allowing you to speed up simulation time by running on large-scale, high-performance computing systems in parallel. SST breaks down a simulation into three easy sections. The first are components, or models. Components represent pieces of the project. The second is composition. Composition is how the components are arranged and connected, therefore creating a system. And the third is events. Events are passed back and forth between components to progress the simulation. Some of the services available from SST include components, subcomponents, links, events, clocks, configurable parameters, random number generator, statistics API, and configurable statistics output. SST also includes an element library with items that you can use. Those items are modular and pluggable. All of these items can be used in a professional or academic setting. If you only use the pre-built components from within SST, then you'd only need the configuration file, which is written in Python. In this course, we'll call this file the project driver. However, if you want to create something custom, you'll also need at least one header file, one C++ implementation file, and a make file. While this may sound a little confusing, don't worry. We're going to go over this in detail. We'll also show you a tool that can help you create all of these files. SST also includes three command line programs. They include SST Info, SST Config, and SST Register. SST Info allows you to see what elements exist in SST or in a specific element library. You'll see what's installed, the parameters of the component, ports, subcomponents, and a description of what it provides. It pulls info out of the elements, thus the name SST Info. SST Config is part of the SST ecosystem. It is primarily used when creating custom components for SST. This is an advanced utility, and it's unlikely you'll interact much with SST Config, but we wanted you to be aware that it exists. SST Register registers a new element library and tells SST where things are so that when we run models, SST knows where to find them. Likely, you'll only need this if you are building custom components. You can register and unregister element libraries, allowing you to maintain several element variations of the same name and easily swap them in and out. When we run the simulation, we follow the component lifecycle of initialization, setup, run, and finalize. So, you might be wondering, 
why would I use SST? Why can't I just build my model on my own? Well, you can absolutely build your model on your own. However, the SST framework comes packaged with models to simulate a processor. Memory devices and routing. Whether utilizing SST's built-in models, creating your own, or a combination of the two, SST provides the framework to get your simulation up and running with ease. To learn more about SST, visit sst-simulator.org as well as the resources on this webpage.